Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rod here from Rod Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for August 13 to August 19, 2018 so this is going to be a four card spread for the week and afterwards uh, when I'm done with those four card tarot I will do as well AL, AL and Norman reading at the end for uh, Gemini's so the first card for Gemini's resembles the topic of uh, the week that is uh, ahead. After that we do have a second position which represents the core of the situation for them. The third position um, represents the challenges to be taken on. And the last position here in the tarot reading does resemble the guidance that Gemini um, it is best to adopt. For the duration of the week. So now the first card, let's see what you got. Uh, we do have the Ace of Cups which represents the topic for your week and that card uh, represents the um, the overflowing joy that you're going to experience going through your heart. Uh, it is very uh, it is very positive week especially for those who uh, have their heart broken either from a um, you know unsuccessful relationship or either because you have been betrayed a job etc etc that card points that this week uh, things are gonna uh, things are gonna take a turn things are going to shift and this time around you're going to have something to look forward to something to live for all right uh, the um, ace of cups represents exactly that that the uh, spot in your heart that have been left empty recently is going to be refilled again and uh, that most likely is going to happen suddenly and spontaneously out of nowhere so you don't need to have any preparation for it and if you now think well I don't see that one coming right now I this is what I'm saying that usually that card expresses through surprises so you're going to have that event for you which is going to most likely change uh, how the things are going either into your career either into your relationship or in either of them and then the second card represents the core of the situation where is that coming from where that ace of cups is coming from it's come from a person most likely a man now we do have the knight of swords and i can see totally that happening because the knight of swords is someone who cannot stand injustice it cannot stand a uh, lack of equilibrium here and they have a strong sense a strong drive to step for those who uh, have been mistreated for for those who are um, unjust, all right. Uh, for those who lack justice <clears throat> to be served, and those who are weak in general, the Knight of Swords is a fighter, and um, it is a person that it is very hard to take on um, from their rivals. Very keen mind, very strategically orientated thinking here. And as well with someone who uh, always supports their actions with a rock solid argument. And I do believe that you are going to be approached here by that person with a, a very good offer, a tempting offer, uh, which is going to make a, a total sense and is going to uh, breed a lot of relevance in your life, in the field uh, of your life, uh, Gemini's, which recently have been wrecked. So then the next card represents uh, the challenges to be taken on or the predicaments here. We have the Seven of Cups. So uh, you should know that card expresses that you, uh, as soon as you get um, <clears throat> approached, and because you know this is uh, this will be like a savior, you know, this is going to be um, <clears throat> the. Um, the heaven that you have expected you may get ahead of yourself you know you may start daydreaming you may start um <laughs> hallucinating was the word that I was uh, about to use but no you may you may start to imagining things which in, are not real in a sense that they are not achievable 
in this particular point. That card does not say failure, not necessarily, but that card points that maybe your expectations may become not exactly objective and you may expect things to happen on the behalf of that person which are literally not real or they, uh, they cannot happen for that short duration of time. So that card um, asks you to be objective, that card asks you to be grounded and that card asks you to have patience. Uh, also this card uh, could reflect those who find it very hard to believe and that they have lost clamor into that their um, things are gonna take turn and things are gonna get for um, for great uh, for the greater I mean they're gonna take a turn for the best uh, and it's gonna happen guys it's just as I said you need to um, have faith into to place faith into someone else that is approaching you for the duration of that week and as well you need to have patience here very important the patience is very important and then uh, the last one represents the guidance that you should follow that will be the Hierophant card and as we said that you need to have patience in that person that card points that you need to trust eventually into somebody and this somebody is that guy here or a girl as well you know because that is a person but the Hierophant point that um, <clears throat> you know the trust is a virtue here and if you are having your doubts into uh, this person, into this man or girl. If you feel reluct uh, reluctant to trust in them, uh, that car asks you to to kind of like uh, put their um, their trustworthiness into a test, and you can do so because what we see here. Gemini's is a relationship, one of a kind relationship, not necessarily romantic, all right, not necessarily business one, but a, a very strong connection with someone that will always have your back. It is just, you know, in return, they will ask you to have a little bit more faith in them. So I hope that this uh, that this helps you, and I hope that this it kind of like gives you a little bit, you know, more. Uh, it kind of lifts your spirit a little bit for someone, for something, and someone to look forward to. Now the um, Lenormand reading shows the child. Then we do have second card. Oh, look at that! We do have the heart, and the last one that will be the tree, the tree. So, after all, that could be a romantic interest here, you know, because we do have here the child stands as a new. We have a, a new romance, love, flirting, relationship, or a union, which is long-lasting, right? Which kind of plays roots. And as it plays roots, it needs time to grow. So what could happen here, just my summarization, my uh, cumulative uh, opinion of the reading, is that at, at, the, at first, uh, with this person here, there won't be any romantic interest, you know, there won't, there won't be any romantic intentions when they approach you, you know, and when they start helping you here and there. But the more time you spend with them, the more you are going to start realizing that you are very compatible, you know, and that uh, you can actually work it through and uh, you can be together in general, but it's going to take time and you need to, uh, again, you need to have patience in it. If you approach them with romantic intentions way too early, then you are going to drive them away. I mean, with that person with the Knight of Swords, you have only one chance, all right? So you better make it count because <clears throat> it's worth a lot. So with that being said, Geminis, this was your weekly tarot reading for August 13th to August 19, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.